Get the Bible in your heart, and you will play a part. It's memory verse time. Hi, boys and girls. Today's Bible story is found in the New Testament, in the book of Matthew, chapter 25. And it's the story of the parable of the talents, or the gifts. Okay, let's start reading it together. It says, For the kingdom of heaven will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted to them his property, or gifts. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug a hole and placed it in the ground and he hid his master's money. Okay, boys and girls, let's watch this story unfold. Oh, what a wonderful day it is. I'm going on a long journey. I have few gifts in my hand. I'm going to give it to my servant and see what they are going to do with the gifts when I come back. Let me call a few servants and see. Can you come? I'm giving you a few gifts of mine. And I would like to see what you do with this when I come back. Cool. And enjoy it, my server. Oh my goodness. My master entrusts me with these gifts. I know what I'm going to do. Real estate is going up this time of year. I think I should invest this and bring a good return. Let me call another servant and give a few other gifts. How are you doing today? Good. Here are my gifts for you, and I would like to see what you do with this when I come back. Wow, I know exactly what I'm doing with these. I'm gonna start my own business and get a great return. Let me call my next servant and give the gifts and see what she's gonna do with that. Can you come on? I have a few gifts for you, and I want to see what you do with this when I come back. Wow, I received this from my master. I cannot use it. I have, to, I, have to, I have to hide it. It's so precious. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to hide it in a hole. I cannot use this. Wow, boys and girls, that was so interesting to see what they decided to do with the gift they had been given. But the next part of the story is where the master comes back. Let's find out what happens then. Wow, that was a wonderful and a long journey. Now I'm quite excited to see what my servant has done with all the gifts that I have given to them. Can I see what you have done? Master, Master, look, I kept what you gave me. And I'm so happy. Look, I still have it. You still have it? You didn't do anything with that? No, I kept it safe. When I give you something, I expect you to multiply. I didn't expect this from you. It's okay. Now you know what to do when I give you the gift next time. Okay? Let me see what my next servant has done with the gift that I have given him. What have you done, my servant? Master, I've taken what you've given me and I've multiplied it. Wow! That's a great news. I gave you a little and you multiplied. Please enter the joy of your father. Let me see what my next servant has done. I gave him five gifts. I'm excited to see what he has done with that. Master, wow, 
What have you done with the gifts that I have given you, my servant? I have invested them, and I have multiplied what you have given me. Wow! Well done, my faithful servant. You are faithful to the little that I have given you. I will make you a ruler of many. Please enter into the joy of your father. Thank you. This makes me think of how God has given us talents and gifts. Yes, he's given me talents and gifts, and he's given you talents and gifts. Maybe you don't know what they are yet. Maybe you haven't discovered them yet, but you definitely have them. Like for me, I'm really good at swimming. Swimming is something that I can do, and I do it really, really well. What kind of talent do you have that you do really, really well? Think about it because God has given that talent to you. And you know something, boys and girls, when God gives us a gift or a talent, He wants us to show Him off. That's right. We don't want to show ourselves off. We want to show God off. So every time I go swimming, I do it really well. I swim excellently. And I praise God for giving me such a beautiful talent. And that's how I show God off. So boys and girls, whenever God gives you something, remember to thank him because he is wonderful and he gives good gifts. And whatever he's given you to do, do it well. Do it with excellence because it shows God in and through you to all the people around you. So they'll see you doing your talent and gift and they'll realize that God is real. So boys and girls, you are special and God has given you many gifts and talents. So go and ask the Holy Spirit this week, Holy Spirit, what bleh, Holy Spirit, what talents and gifts have you given me? And I promise you that when you ask that, the Lord is going to show you and he's going to show up in your life. So until next time, be blessed and stay under the mighty hand of God. Bye for now.